Hi, Andrew from Connected Digital World here. Ubisoft will shortly be releasing the next in their Assassin's Creed game franchise, Assassin's Creed Unity, set during the French Revolution. Ubisoft invited us to Paris to take a look at the game and to interview some of their key development people. And all gameplay footage was captured from the Xbox One version of the game. Enjoy. So, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us your role? Sure. So, my name is Leslie Ford Toy, and I'm a producer at Ubisoft Toronto on Assassin's Creed Unity. What exactly does that involve, being a producer on Assassin's Creed Unity? Right, so um, because I work in the Toronto studio, we're actually a co-development partner with Montreal, who is the lead studio. Uh, my role as producer is to lead the team and the project in Toronto. Um, so a lot of that is making sure that, you know, I have, um, I've built a team and I've given my team objectives uh, that they can follow and also like help them, facilitate them with information or with anything that they need in order to make the game. Um, and I also coordinate very, very closely with Montreal. Uh, Montreal uh, leads the game in terms of the vision, in terms of the, the production strategy, and um, I help to coordinate with that and to make sure that we ex execute at the same level of, of quality as well as the vision in Toronto. So for a game this size and one that's been in development for four years, that must be quite a task. <laughs> It is quite challenging. Um, it's quite interesting because you know the the first thing you think about is wow, how do you uh, how do you have all these different people working in different cities all on one thing? Um, and I think you know for sure it's a challenge. Uh, but what I found really interesting as we went through this process is, and it's kind of it's a bit cheesy because it kind of goes back to the game. So one of the big things we're doing um, at, on Assassin's Creed Unity is co-op. And one of the things that we've, we've really tried to develop for co-op is being able to give people uh, the ability to play the way that they want to play so that they can, you know, uh, customize their own version of Arno, uh, you know, with their own skills, with their own sets of experiences. What I've found in co-development is because we all come from different perspectives, we live in different cities, we have different experiences in, in terms of previous games that we've worked on, we've also come to the table with complementary skills and complementary experiences. And um, now that we've come towards the end of development, I've found that we've actually can be stronger as a team because of that, because we uh, complement each other's abilities. Okay. Obviously you've talked about co-op. What's your favorite part about co-op then? Uh, my favorite part about co-op, honestly, is when you get into this really great flow where um, all of a sudden, you know, in the beginning it might be a little bit clunky because you're not quite sure how your friends are going to play with you, but you get into a flow where like, okay, you take this guy out, I take that guy out, let's throw a smoke bomb, let's run in together, and you, you really start playing as a team, and when you start realizing how powerful you can be as a team, that's a really satisfying feeling. The game's set in obviously the, the beautiful city of Paris and you guys have done an amazing job recreating Paris. Oh, thank you. What's your favorite area in the game? I have a personal um, favorite area for sure um, and it's the uh, Palais de Luxembourg. Um, the reason for this is we, sp we spent a lot of time and love on the Palais. It was the first thing that we had brought to final quality in the Toronto studio and it's because it's heavily featured in the E3 co-op demo. Um, and uh, I had never actually seen the Palais in real life until uh, just a few days ago. And so that's the first thing I did when I arrived in Paris for this preview event was to go directly to the Palais de Luxembourg. And, and I was stunned by how well we were able to authentically represent it in game. Um, and we, you know, we took a few photos and, and you, when you look at the photos and you look at the game screenshots, you're like, wow, it's, 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 it's almost the same and it's, it's fantastic. You mentioned obviously the E3 demo. Um, what was the reaction that you guys got when that came up and everyone was like, four black go up? <sighs> A lot of cheering. Um, we were we were kind of nervous. We weren't sure how people would take the demo, uh, but we we were so proud of it. And uh, to be able to to present it on stage uh, and get the reaction that we did was fantastic. And why should people play Assassin's Creed Unity? It's the best Assassin's Creed yet. Okay. And if you could give us three things that make Assassin's Creed Unity great, what would they be? Three things. Wow, okay, so um, actually I think 
one, one way to talk about it is we, we have three game pillars for Assassin's Creed. So, you know, we have combat, we have stealth, and we have navigation. And those are core pillars of the brand. And what we've done with Assassin's Creed Unity is we've gone back to those pillars and totally revamped them for new gen. So now combat is harder, enemies are more strategic, navigation is more fluid, you know, you're gonna be able to have way more control over where you go in the world. And stealth is really stealth. You can really sneak around, you can uh, infiltrate, uh, your objectives and, and, and take enemies out without ever being seen. And once Unity ships, what's next for you guys? I don't know yet. We'll have to see. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link on the screen now? And we have some more Xbox One Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay for you too.